So today we got a little bit different project for you guys. Uh, we got a 5.7 liter Hemi sitting right here. We got a Hemi, boys! Yeah! We got Dodge's OG engine, the Hemi, the thing that everyone knows about and loves, the hemispherical Hemi over here. Uh, we are gonna be tearing him down because he has a hard cylinder five misfire and I expect the camshaft to be eight and alive. Right here will be cylinder five. The push rod is bent and out of it, so definitely thinking that cam lobe got eight and alive and that push rod fell out due to the cam falling down that lifter, eating the cam alive, you know, heavy stuff. So this is a little bit different than what we usually are running. Whitey's still here, guys. We haven't forgot about him. We're actually installing a Transgo shift kit in him right now. We just don't have the time to finish him up for this week's video, but next week's video, you guys will definitely be seeing that. He's sitting all over on the bench over here with all his valve body parts. So definitely stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because guys, you don't want to miss any of this content that we are going to be putting out with the twin turbo 5.2 liter Magnum sitting up there. But we're going to get this Hemi apart. We're going to show you guys step by step on how to take a Hemi apart, get the heads off, get that camshaft out of there, and everything in between. So the first thing we're going to do is get this manifold out of the way. Look at all those bolts I had to loosen. Oh, it's tripping fuel on me. <laughs> oh, that's a little cold. So this has been sitting in the back of our shop for a while. Uh, we finally figured out a secret project that we're not going to tell you guys what we're going to be doing with him, but it is going to be a sick project that no one's ever done and no one's ever seen before. You guys are in for a big surprise. And I'm super pumped for it, and that's why we're starting to work on it. So it seems like we had some friends living in here for a little bit, so we're going to get this nice mouse poo. Ew. Hold on to that, because that's still nice. But or JT's gonna vacuum out this nice mouse poop. You guys ready? This is gonna be so satisfying to just suck everything up. Got all, all right. the mouse poo and foam. Let's take up. Ew. Oh, hey. They chewed through our wiring harness. Well, that's, that's nice. Thanks, well, mice. It's just for the MDS, though. Thanks, mice. Gross. And we are sure. not swapping this Hemi into Whitey, guys. The Whitey's staying Magnum base, so don't worry about that. My fingers are in rat poop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it out. Oh, well, we gotta get the connectors out first. Ew. Oh, it's nasty. It's nasty. Can I smell my finger? No. <laughs> Don't touch my face. <laughs> Come on, just touch it. <laughs> All right, there we go. And last one. Come on, JT. Doesn't the mouse poo like lubricate the connectors so they come off nice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this oh now you got to dig your hand in there. Yeah, get your fingers in it. <laughs> oh, it's uh, gross. I'll grab an actual tool for that dog. Aha! That will work, so you don't have to stick your hand in the mouse poo. It's a little big there, guy. If you break the harness, it's not a big deal. They already chewed through it. Oh, yeah. They chewed through that whole black wire, so... You know what this part's for? The garbage. Because who needs MDS? No. We no, don't need to shut this for, so... Hey, Gross. maybe if we're going for mileage. Oh, yeah, but who's going for mileage? Yeah, because power is what we are going for, because more power, baby! Yeah! Corpex! And just like that... So to get these valve covers off, you have to pull all eight of these coil packs out. Otherwise you risk damaging the booties. Yeah, just strip them out there. Round them out. Who yeah, needs stripped. sharp edges? <laughs> well, sharp edges cause cuts. It's, and cuts are bad. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's oh, round. Oh, hey, it's fine. It's safe now for JT to hold. <laughs> Round Is that accident prone? <laughs> it's accident prone less. No. All right, valve cover time. Valve cover. Now we got a bunch of eight mils to get out of this boy. Oh, the, the coil packs were 10 millimeters in head size. They're an M6 by 1.0, if you guys are wondering. Other fun goodie we got for this, guys. We got some Hellcat exhaust manifolds, but they're like shorty headers, because look at that. That's pretty cool. They're not an actual manifold. They're tube design. And then they put these huge heat sh shields over them. Um, I'm not going to cut the heat shields off because that would take forever. So she's going on like that. And then JT is about to get this last valve cover off and we can see our problem child. 
And a, yes, it was cylinder five on the intake side. Oh yeah, see, look. See, that's that looks good to me. Pull the push rod right out. She don't look that bent though. No, it doesn't. I thought it was bent. Huh. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, she's pretty, she pretty flat. So when cracking your rocker arm bolts loose, definitely crack them off in like a spiral pattern so you don't take one out and put all the load on one bolt and then it breaks either the head, the casting in the head or breaks the rocker arm shaft or something like that. So it's a nice good way just to break them all loose by hand and then come back over with an impact driver. Yes. That's push rod time, Hemi stuff. Angled push rods. You're going to have a long push rod for the exhaust and you're going to have a stubby push rod for the intake. That's cool if you guys have never took a Hemi apart. But I always like to keep the order of me push rods in me hand. As you can see, I'm not balling it up. I'm actually keeping the order of how this guy went. And I like to lay it down like you read a book, left to right. Just as easy as that. Yeah. I lay my push rods down like I read a book from left to right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's how you read? I read bottom to top. Ah. <laughs> You're one what? of them? You're one of them fellas. <laughs> one of them fellas. <laughs> I ain't too good at reading, but at least I get done. <laughs> The same thing on this side, guys, keeping the order of the old bush rods. Now, we're breaking some head bolts loose. Uh, always do this in a reverse spiral going inwards. We'll break it in so you don't warp the head because it's an aluminum head and you don't want to warp it because that would be not good. So, reverse spiral helps a lot. You also can get the heads off without taking the intake or uh, timer cover off. There's a sneaky bolt right there, there's a little bracket that goes across right there and you can get the heads off. So now that we got all the head bolts loose, she's been on there for a minute, so we're gonna use a little screwdriver here to pop her up like that and not drop the head. Don't drop it. Don't drop the dirt in here. Hey. And just like that. Beautiful. Oh, oh you're leaking coolant, dude. Uh -oh. And you're still leaking coolant. Just like that. So. That looks pretty new, doesn't it, to you guys? That looks pretty new to me, doesn't it, JT? All sorts of shiny. Yeah, and this head gasket doesn't look like a stock head gasket. So, was it actually the cam that failed or just the lifter that collapsed? We're gonna see. Find out next time. Wait, well, what no. if they just put a cam in it and the push rod fell out because they didn't line it up right? We have a perfectly running Hemi. Let's get this, uh, let's pull these lifters out. Let's, uh, let's take a looky here. What let's, happened? Let's get this guy out. Yeah. Take a looky. Oh, oh, don't drop that. Bye bye. I was like, wait, let's just pull that one out. Okay. Uh, I was, what was it? Intake, so it was this one. Grab that. They have to stay in order, so put it back in there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if our problem child. That's a brand new lifter. It is. That's not twisted in the bore. That's a brand new lifter that's not twisted in the bore. Huh, I don't huh. think we have a camshaft on this one. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry about my phone, but that looks like a brand new camshaft to me in there. That's very shiny for this thing having a hundred and something thousand miles on it. I have a question. What? Why are we peeking through the holes when we could just take it apart? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I was just curious. Let's go. There it is. And just like that. Boom. All right, let's get that time cover all the way off. That looks like a new time cover gasket. And that looks like a new oil pump. I'm thinking someone was in here before. Someone was tampering with this little hemi here there. Yeah, so you can't get the camshaft out without pulling the oil pan and the oil pump off. All you have to do is you take your attentioner off right here and then line your cams up. Take the sprocket off, pull the cam out, but we're gonna do it the right way and we're gonna pull the oil pan off and we're gonna take the oil pump off because, yeah. Now we got our Hemi upside down, you know, hemispherical stuff upside down. Uh, all the oil pan bolts are out. JT's going to get this oil pan off. There we go. Aha! Huh. Ooh, chunky. Hunky, chunky, monkey. Holy crap, look at that's that. That's nasty. Oh, dude, that's gritty, too. 
Ooh, what is that? And there's a leaf inside of it, or was that already outside? No, that would have been outside, yeah. How the heck did that get in there? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> How did a leaf get in here? <laughs> Bro. We're finding all sorts of funny How did we get a leaf in here? <laughs> that oil pan looking crusty, so I think we're going to take a look at the bearings, because that's the reason why we took the pan off, just in case we have to rebuild it quick. But, yeah. Huh. There's a, our hemi leaf. That didn't, that wasn't us. Like, how did that, that was chilling right there. <laughs> you just saw me pry this thing off. <laughs> Bro. Oh, yeah, look at all the metal in the. Yeah. The I think we're going to be doing uh, the old rebuild on her. Yeah, probably. So. Huh, you guys might get a lot more than just a cam swap in this. There we go. All right, let's get the cam out of here now, boys. This is a brand new cam. Start, keep pulling. This is a brand new freaking cam. Look at that. Every single lobe looks brand new. Oh, I see a little bit of marking on this one. That's not nothing, though. Look at that. A brand the thing new is cam. mint. Dude, this thing's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Why did our push rod fall off? Who Must knows? have been not set in right. Or our lifter had a failure. That's possible. It's definitely not the camshaft though. That's brand new. But it's shiny still. This thing's brand new, dude. <laughs> huh. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Beautiful. Wow. Huh. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, because what? Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, so then this guy right here. That's brand new. Yeah, you can't oh, feel anything. I see why they sold it. Those cam bearings are pretty beat up. <laughs> like someone's <laughs> smacking her in and out of there. Huh. Alright, let's flip her up. Let's take a rod cap off and a main bearing cap off. Take a better look at this block. Because I really don't want to put an engine in that's just going to blow up and after running it for like five minutes. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, There's more coolant in it. Break this uh, cylinder eight. Oh, crap. Rock cap bolt off. Take a look at here of our bearings. Oh. Cause uh, all that debris in the oil pan doesn't mean a very good sign. of a very happily running engine. Ooh. That's the guy we're looking for. Oh, dude, she's mint. How is, it, where, where did that debris come from then? Uh, I have no idea. You should probably check the main bearings though. Yeah. Then you put main bearing caps in, one good way to remember is tangs like to line up. So we got a tang here, we got a tang down there. So that means our cap must go on just like that. Mint. Well guys, definitely not the video I thought it would be. I thought that cam was gonna have a lobe missing on it, which it does not. That's a brand new camshaft. Mint. Is it Mopar? Let's see, the part number will be, nope, probably not Mopar. Aftermarket cam, don't, be, don't bang it on something. I wasn't going to. <laughs> so definitely was not the video that we were expecting. This camshaft is mint, it's brand new. So either they didn't line the push rod up correctly and it popped off, or that lifter took a crap. We'll definitely have to take a better look at that lifter and we'll definitely have to take a better look at the heads, make sure a valve seat didn't fall out or something like that. That cost a push rod. And figure out where these boogers came from. Yeah, and that oil pan's super gross, so. Uh, we might be pulling this whole motor apart. Uh, we're going to look a little bit more in depth. But guys, I hope you like this 5.7 Hemi stuff. Comment down below. I love Hemis if you guys are into this Hemi stuff. And comment down below if I love Magnums. Let's see who likes more on this channel. If you guys want to pick up a Racing Ram Fam t-shirt, email me at keepitboosted at racingramfam.com. But as always guys, keep it boosted and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!